Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Kimmy, I'm an independent consultant for Close to My Heart and today I'm going to share with you our classic alphabet uh, thin cuts. So here they are here. So we've got all your letters of your alphabet all here and um, we've also got the numbers as well. So what I'm going to do is um, use these to put a layout together. Yeah, I'm going to use blue skies paper. Let's get going. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the my title using these. And the title I want to make is Be Happy. So we won't need those ones, so we'll just move those ones out of the way. Alright, but I'm going to show you a great little technique using these and using our um, cardstock with this. There's a technique that you can use, and because our cardstock is two-toned, this works really good. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and I'll stop where I need to. All right, so what I'm gonna do is cut a couple of two inch strips. All right, now you see how our cardstock is too toned? I'm gonna use both sides of this, but what I'm gonna do first, so essentially what we're gonna do is have them so that they're, so they're like that. So then you get that, when you run it through the uh, die cutting machine, you've got the three different colours there. But first, we're going to tear the paper. Oh, also, if you have a look, our card is unique that it has a white core to it. So now what we're going to do is layer it up. So that it looks like that and then when you cut them out you'll have the three different effects on there all right so we need to glue it down so I like to use liquid glass for this because the liquid glass is quite strong it will hold it properly all right so we're going to run it through the cuddle bug now As you can see, it gives you a nice little different effect, really. So, we've got all our letters here. So there's Be Happy. Alright, so if you have a look at it closer, you've got the dark lagoon and the light lagoon and then the white daisy and because you've got the we've got the white core in the middle it gives it just that little bit of a different effect all right so i'm going to use this on a layout i've got um white daisy here and i'm going to use um a bit of this which is from the blue skies and then i've got this one and this one now what i'm going to do is make it a fairly simple layout um, just because I want to showcase the um, thin cuts so I didn't want to make it too busy so that you don't you know you don't see these so what I'm going to do is a four three two layout oh can you see that this is the one with the UV coating on it so you can put it that way or we can mix it up and do it like that this layout is so versatile you could do it all sorts of ways you can have it this way you could if you wanted to depending on the pattern like if i had that side round i could do it you know that way as well but because i cut the orientation of this um, vertically that's what i'm going to use so i'm going to do it this way i'm going to have I think we're right with our final layout. Maybe we're not. Maybe we'll do that. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I keep changing it. Let's see what else we've got in the way of the rich strips. That's the thing I like about ours again because we have the zip strips. You know, we can add these ones on there just to, you know, add a little bit of effect on there so you get the most out of your paper.
Okay, we're going to do that. <laughs> oh, that was a bit long-winded, wasn't it? But we got there in the end. Okay, so let's, um, let's just stick this bit down. So that's what we've got so far. So we've got the zip strip here. We've got our four inch, our two inch and our three inch pieces down. So that's the basis of our layout. I'll probably use the canary as the um, of photo mat. Okay, so we've got our be happy. I've um, got these two photos. So um, because I think having it this way we got a little bit more room. I just got to cut some uh, some photo mats, and I'm going to do that in Canary. So here are our photo mats. Now again, we can use either the light side or the darker side. I'm going to try. I think I'm going to use the darker side just because I think it'll look nicer. Right, so. We'll put them down there like that. All right, we're going to use the liquid glass again to adhere these down. So that's our layout so far. Alright, so we've got our title on there. Right, well, let's start adding a few other bits and pieces to this layout. I would like a journaling box. I think um, that's it for my layout. I'm not going to add anything else. I really wanted to show you the uh, classic alphabet thin cuts, which I've done. So you know you can just do them without the you know without the plane. But this was just another technique that you can use on your layouts. It just gives it a little bit more dimension and a little bit of um, something something. So if you've got any questions about those uh, classic thin cuts. Just leave um, a comment down below and I will answer it to the best of my ability. Add a little bit of sparkle to your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.